My name is Thomas Harbison and I'm a mechanical engineer up at Telfer. I've been working with Newcrest on and off since the end of 2013, uh, so I was lucky enough to have some vacation periods of work through, through my studies at uni. I uh, did a few at Cadia and then one at Telfer and then started the graduate program up at Telfer the next year. I uh, came off the grad program early which was nice, there was a, a job there that just popped up so luckily enough slid into that and I've uh, been working permanently since then. As a mechanical engineer it's pretty much my job to assist the maintenance team. Uh, so they do obviously all the maintenance on all the fixed plant up here uh, which is important to keep the plant running. So to, to help them with if they've got any problems regarding pumps or anything they maintain, any issues with how they're operating, we are here as a support service to, to assist them. Having the guys come in and say thanks for doing that, Tom. Like that's really made our job easier, safer. That's the. Jack Doristo, second year geology graduate. Uh, I did my first year at Katy and moved here a couple weeks ago. Being from Canada, not used to having you know 40 degree heat most of the time, so bit different, but you do slowly get used to it. Joining the Newcrest grad program, I thought it was pretty cool seeing Newcrest being sort of a really big company and having sort of quite a few different sites around the world, as well as, as a geologist, having different deposit styles in their portfolio. So you're not just focused on one thing, you have sort of a variety of deposits to look at, so that does keep it interesting. Um, the other part is coming, having that rotation, so you're not on one site for two years. You get to have that movement from Cadia and then come to Telfer, so you get sort of the exposure to two different ways of, of working. At Telfer, you get to see sort of exploration, you get the drilling, uh, you get open pit and underground experience, as well as seeing what you know the mining engineers, geotechs, METs do, and everything like that. So it's really interesting to be able to see the whole project working together. You're not isolated into your one group, and that's all you see. My name is Naomi Sinclair and I am a graduate production engineer in my first year. I started in January and I did about eight months underground and now I've done about three and a half months in the office. I work with the production engineers. Specifically, I have been actually given a project and it's to do with asset management, so treating essentially all the drives in the mine. It's a small part in the big project. I get to kind of direct it myself. So I get the benefits of having to talk with a lot of a lot of stakeholders involved and that sense of teamwork comes out, but then at the end of the day I get to really drive it myself. I really like the fact that we celebrate the wins and we celebrate each other. Anyone who's perhaps demonstrated our values really well or has had a bit of a shining moment, we get to bring that up and celebrate each other. So my name's Guy Morgan, I'm the development scheduler for the PC23 project. So I've just rolled off the grad program into a full-time role now. The more I researched into block caving and what Newcrest was doing, the more excited I got about coming to work for the company. There's very much a continual improvement to the mindset, so every day we're trying to do things better. You do get put in high pressure situations at times where you are, um, you're the person who has to make an operational call. And I remember the first time that that happened and that, that was quite stressful. But um, by the same token, I'm absolutely a better engineer for it today. Um, and I don't think that um, you get that with every grad program. The most important thing I got out of it was the crew time that I did over at Telfer. Um, this really enabled me to understand, I guess, from the ground up how a mining operation works. Being able to see, uh, see it from underground, see it from a drill and blast perspective and a scheduling perspective, I felt gave me a really good foundation as a mining engineer and what, what it does mean to be a mining engineer.